What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Halloween video. And today, I have all my animatronics out here. Sorry, it's a little loud. Um, I'm right out here uh, by the road. But this is all my pretty much life size. All of the animatronics I have collected in the past year which just seems insane. Um, Halloween is in three days. So um, actually, no, Halloween is today, um, considering that the video published today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna kinda go in this view. These are all the animatronics that I have collected from 2020 to 2021. Going on to 2022 now. But I am basically just gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do any demos just because they're so fit together, it might be a little bit tough. Um, as you can see, they're literally grabbing onto each other back there. Um, so um, I'll probably just go over everyone. I, I'll probably go from the one I bought to, first to my most recent purchase. So yeah, can't wait to get started and let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start here to my first ever animatronic I ever purchased. It was like, I just, I was wanting to build a haunted house outside of, right outside of our house actually. And I was like, I need an animatronic. That's one of the best things you can get. So this is the first guy I ever purchased. This is Flaming Scarecrow from Home Depot. And he was only a hundred bucks. And um, by the way, guys, you can look up any demo video once you know the names. I'll have the links in the description. So yeah, his arm basically is extended. I don't, a lot of people has probably seen it, but uh, yeah, this is the Flaming Scarecrow and he was a very good deal for what he does. I, I love him. Um, he's definitely still one of my favorites. Next, we've got the my uh, second purchase, the black and white jumping spider. This one is the probably the most common animatronic in history you will ever see. Um, it's just so many people have it. It used to be like $90. Now they have it down to $50. So I got this guy for $50. He basically just jumps up. Um, but yeah, this is the black and white jumping spider from Spirit Halloween. And his motion sensor kind of sucks. So that's a bad part about him. But you can easily use a uh, step pad or a remote controller. And he'll be ready to go to scare some people. So he's pretty good. Next, we have um, my third animatronic purchase. This is the Hide and Eek Animated Reaper. Um, he's a little bit silly. He's battery powered, so he's just this little guy. He was $15, which is not a bad price for what he is. So yeah, he'll just hang there and he turns his head and talks. He's, he's decent for $15, so I decided to get him. Um, and he still works perfectly fine over a year it's been, but Basically, his audio is just kind of cheesy. The fourth, um, this is, um, it's basically just an animated corpse. I think the company is Joyin. Um, got on Amazon, it was one of the top sellers, so I just decided to buy it. It's, um, it was $30, I think. Yeah, it was around $30, and he's got, he's got okay detail. You can basically see that a lot of the stuff was just hot glued on here, so he's a little bit junky, um, but, and his motion sensor is also bad, but he is good for just hanging there just, just to add some side. So he's decently big, um, around almost, almost three feet tall around that size. So the four I just showed you, this one, this one, this one, and this one, those were the only ones I got in 2020 uh, for the first haunt I ever built. Now we're gonna move on to my 2021 purchases. So this is gonna be a little bit insane. Okay, so here's the big boy. We have Underworld Clown. Um, he was just, I never expected to buy him since I saw his retail price was like $300, but I did get him off of Marketplace for 230, which is not bad for what he is. He is ginormous, just, um, his height is good. He's like six feet and his width is, probably six or seven feet wide. It's just insane how big this guy is. And his animation is just creepy. His audio is amazing. I would definitely recommend Underworld Clown. Um, yeah, $230 for 
Uh, this is a Morris prop uh, from 2020. Uh, and he, this is my favorite prop I own. Very, Root of Evil is very close to beating him. I'll talk about him later, but Underworld is still my favorite to this day of all the ones I own. Okay, if we kind of get through here, we can see Catacomb Creature, which I bought not that long after I got Underworld, which I, I never expected to get this one either. This was, um, I got it for a birthday present for my sister uh, because she was always talking about it and I just got it. <laughs> it was like 242. Um, this is another Morse prop. And a lot of people think he's not that tall, but once you see him in person, he is nine, a little bit taller than nine foot. He's ginormous. He's almost touching these, this like, I think it's a 12 foot ceiling. So yeah, that's pretty insane. Um, and his animation is definitely good. He has three movements. His mouth movement is one of the best I've ever seen. So I, um, there's some bad things about it, like the, the flimsiness of the face. That doesn't really matter as long as the prop doesn't fall down. And all this, like the hood and the stuff that you see on the arms, you can't Velcro it so it could just fly off. But yeah, other than that, Catacomb Creature is an awesome towering animatronic. Now, after that, I didn't buy anything for a really long time, but then, um, when it came around to be Halloween time again, um, I got Hauntress. Hauntress is pretty con- well, Hauntress has only been around for two years since last year came out. Um, uh, I would say it's- it's a pretty good prop. It's a pretty good jump scare prop. Just imagine it- that being in its up position and popping out that way. Um, but yeah, it's been in the display set up for two years now. So yeah, Huntress I just decided to purchase because I thought it would be good, a good add-on. Uh, got her for 103 Her original price is like 130 so that's a, that's a pretty good discount. Um, I was really liking Huntress, but I never actually got to use Huntress correctly in a Halloween display or haunted house because... Um, she ended up getting destroyed from water damage. Uh, it rained and she was out there. I didn't realize it was puddling up. The control box was taped down, or it, it's down there on the base. So water splashed up at it and ended up not working. And if I didn't already destroy Huntress enough, when I was messing around with her, I um, ended up snapping the mechanism. So I'm kind of an idiot for that. That's why she doesn't stay up in her upright position anymore. But I just have Hauntress as a static now, so it's okay. I still like her, she's a good add-on, but yeah, kind of sucks that I don't have another jump scare prop. So yeah, this is Hauntress uh, from Spirit Halloween. Next up, we have the black and red jumping spider. So you may be wondering, well, wasn't it kind of pointless to just have two of the same thing basically, but um, it's actually kind of cool when you have two of them, I, I think, in my opinion. And this one, I. I wanted to buy the red that in 2020, but I couldn't find one. And I saw, I, was, I was seeing a bunch of these in stores, so I decided to get one this year for $50 as well. The motion sensor is just as bad, but this one does jump up faster and it's louder, I noticed. So still like to have two jumping spiders, it's nice. Uh, but yeah, basically I like it more than the black and white because I really like the red on it. And the, I think the, like the, but it's red too, so yeah. Next up, we have the hide and eek pumpkin reaper groundbreaker thing, I guess you could say. Um, this one's all right. Uh, I would say the quality is not as good since the two hands snapped off within a month of me getting him. Um, and the whole, the whole, just everything in here is just flimsy plastic, so. And I would like more detail on the face, but it's it's good for $25. Um, I just got it for the graveyard setup. If you watch my last video, it was a haunt video. You'll see everything there. Um, but yeah, basically just turns side to side its head and lights up and has kind of corny audio, but whatever. Um, little good guy from Target. Now, I wish I had a better view of him right now, but this is the man-eating plant from Home Depot that came out this year. Um, I think we're going on to, yeah, we're actually going on to the first prop now that's new from this year. 
Um, this is the only, only prop that I have right now that came out in 2021 this year. So I'm so glad to have the Manning plant. Um, it, it was really hard to find him in any stores uh, and it, he was out of stock online for most of the year. So, um, so many people were getting him and just selling him for really expensive uh, on websites, but I was lucky enough to get one uh, on hold for me from Home Depot. Uh, it was $130, very good for what it is. Two very good price Home Depot props. Um, it has three movements mouth and it, it kind of does a twisty and back and forth thing so very realistic um, movements very good customization with all the vines and stuff everywhere and the leaves on its body it's he's he's pretty cool um the only thing the only con about him is his audio because he just talks about um wanting your candy and stuff so it's kind of cheesy as well but still very nice and the lights just turn off I'm, I'm not going to talk too much. I'll move on to the second from last animatronic I've bought. So, uh, less than a month ago, I think almost going on to a month ago, um, I got this guy, which he's in a very bad spot, but you can see going up, up, up. That's his legs to his ginormous hands. Absolutely massive hands. That's my hand next to his finger and his big terrifying face this is the looming ghoul um he is my most expensive purchase this guy was uh 300 um their retail price is like 400 dollars. so i did get it for cheaper um i don't have the it, it may look a little empty right now because the legs are just so tall and just nothing uh but you can put um cloth down here, kind of like a door thing to make it mysterious to enter through. I just never have it up since it, it truly doesn't stick well on the back. It, it's kind of an, I think I got a bad one. Um, the Velcros weren't placed right and the wind kind of catches on it. So I don't really need that happening. Um, but this guy's just awesome for an entryway. He's another one from Morris. Good. Um, it, his he's a little bit expensive, I think, for what he is. But 300s all right. Um, really didn't expect to get him. I just um, was kind of rushing the last few weeks before the haunt. So yeah, I got him, and he was a, a good star of the show. So yeah, this is Looming Ghoul. Now, last but not least, second favorite of all my animatronics. This is the Root of Evil. Um, the Root of Evil is, I thought he was gonna be a lot bigger, just seeing videos and pictures and stuff. His looks, I don't, I don't really care how big he is, his looks really just do make um, it worth what he is. He's, uh, I got him for 260, his retail price was like 350, and now you can't find him anywhere except for on Amazon for like $600, so. Uh, decide to get him since the store that's around me can uh, just pick up these props for me. Um, I really just love all the detail on all this moss just hanging everywhere. Uh, his head just glows so awesomely. It just loosely slides, kind of like underworlds. Uh, just ch this chest plate is awesome looking, and this creepy cloth. And his arms are so long too. This is the these are the longest arms I have on the prop. I guess, except for Underworlds, because those are arms. Um, but the, the, the longest arms I've seen on a standing animatronic, they're just huge. And his hands are also awesome. So yeah, again, uh, I'm using up a lot of time here. I could go on forever saying how good Root of Evil is, because he's another Morris one. I think all my favorites are Morris, because all of them just look amazing, but um, I would definitely recommend the Root of Evil for your uh, outside like farm themed haunt. It's really awesome. And his audio. It, it, interesting fact about this, this is a, the oldest prop I own. Uh, he came out in like two, 2018, so that's why he's so hard to find. But yeah, his audio is a little bit quiet, but creepy. So definitely I would recommend him. Well, there you have it. I went through all my animatronics. Um, sorry I couldn't demo them, but 
basically I'll have all the links in the description like I said already. Um, you can look up and see what all these guys do. And now it's windy. Can't wait to see what's coming for next year. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. So, thanks again and I will see you on another video.